the monsoon, uh, in its simplest terms, is just a seasonal shift of the winds. People think monsoon, they immediately think rainfall. Well, uh, monsoon really just has to do with the wind and that seasonal shift of the winds. Uh, we saw those westerly winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere relax, and so that allowed moisture to intrude into New Mexico. And next thing you know, showers and thunderstorms are developing, and a lot of the moisture that has been in place has been very high, very abnormally high. And so that's led to a lot of uh, very intense uh, thunderstorms with very heavy rainfall. We usually don't see that till maybe the first or second week of July, but boy, has it come in with a real bang uh, here in New Mexico. You know, there are some indications that uh, the latter part of July could turn a little bit drier. Uh, however, as you get into later parts of August into September, uh, there are some indications that we might be looking at a more active monsoon pattern across New Mexico, and that would uh, imply more showers and more thunderstorms we're seeing a lot more extreme events. Yes, if you take the whole average over those three and a half months, uh, maybe the precipitation is running a little bit below average, but we can have a few isolated storms on just a few days throughout that period, and they can really pack a punch just because of their intensity and uh, the very heavy rainfall that they can bring. You know, we depend on the monsoon here in a lot of the southwest. Many areas I can see as much as half or even a majority of their annual rainfall just during those three and a half months. It's kind of a time of rejuvenation, if you will, and but it does come with hazards, unfortunately, uh, whether it's lightning, uh, strong winds, uh, and of course, flash flooding, which we've seen plenty of here in the last uh, week.